Hello, my friends. Today, I will be preparing sofrito, Puerto Rican sofrito. A lot of people have been asking me what is sofrito because they don't know what is sofrito. Well, all these ingredients that we see here is the sofrito, and we're going to be preparing this, and you're going to see how I do it. This is sofrito, Puerto Rican sofrito, and I'm going to tell you the ingredients. Some peppers, these kind of peppers, some onions, garlic, salt right here this is sazon with color it comes in a small bag like this but this one doesn't have color this is a different one i'm going to use this one and i'm going to be using this one too this i don't know how you call this you see it in the market i don't know how you call that some garlic some um let me see. Cilantro. This is cilantro and culantro. And this is all we need to prepare our sofrito. Buena, buena, mis amigos. Bienvenido a mi canal de Todo Un Poco con Italia. Mucha gente me preguntan qué es sofrito, porque en sus países lo preparan diferente o, o lo conocen por otro nombre. Estos son los ingredientes para el sofrito. Yo utilizaré pimientos cebolla, sal, ajos, ajicitos, recao, cilantro, sazón con color y este otro tipo de sazón. So now we're going to be preparing this sofrito. Vamos a preparar este sofrito. You will need a big bowl like the one I have here because we're going to put all the sofrito in this bowl and a knife, okay? We're gonna take the stem of this, and inside is the seeds. You, if you want, you could take it all out from the seeds, like I'm doing here, see? That's it, Bob, if you want. Le sacamos la semilla, como ustedes pueden ver, a los ajicitos. Es opcional, le pueden dar también la semilla. Okay, Bob. Um, and we'll proceed to do the same thing to all of them. Y haremos esto a todos. Así que, cut it in half and you take out the seeds. These seeds could be replant. Esta semilla la pueden sacar y pueden sembrarlo. Sacamos todo esto. Okay. We'll do the same thing to the peppers. We'll open it in the corner. See, take out the stem. And it has some seeds in it. See, take out the seed. Take out the seeds. And we'll cut it into small pieces. Take another one, cut off the stem, and there you have the seed. See? It's easy to take out. And we'll cut this in pieces. We're going to chop the onions. Everybody knows how to do this. Vamos a cortar la cebolla. Todo el mundo sabe picar una cebolla, ¿no? Esto es algo básico. This is something basic. Everybody does it in their home. To cooking. Okay, we're going to peel this and cut it in small pieces. Lo cortaremos y lo picaremos en pedazos pequeños. Tan pronto pueda sacar el, la cáscara. Ahí está. Cut it in pieces. Oh, look at this. And the inside has another skin. I'm going to throw that away. I'm not going to use it. Okay. Oh, this onion is not so good. Mm -mm. I could see it. See bad pieces. That's the way they sell it in the supermarket. 
Veo que tiene partes dañadas la cebolla. Así no la venden dañada en los supermercados. ¿Sí? This, this is not good. Esta parte no está buena. Throw it away. Cut in chunks. Lo cortamos en pedazos. Okay. We're going to peel this one too. Vamos a pelar esta también. Cut it in pieces. This one has bad parts too, so I gotta take them out. Okay. We'll cut the bad part. Okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. This one is not. This one is okay. We'll cut the other one. Let's see how this one turns out to be. Let's take out the skin first. Okay. Okay. Cut it in pieces. Here I still got some skin that I have to take out. This over here that you see, this skin, you could put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. And when you make some vegetable stock, this is good for it. Le estaba hablando que estas partes de la piel de la cebolla están buenas y las puede guardar en una bolsita Ziploc en el congelador, en el freezer, y de ahí sacamos lo podemos hervir y hacemos un caldo de vegetales. This is recado. I don't know how you call it in your country, but this is recado. We cut it in pieces, we put it in the bowl. We keep adding to the bowl. This is cilantro. It's the small leaf, it's different, and it's very good. We're going to take out the roots, cut it with your hands, well, it's a lot, let me do it with the knife. Okay, let's cut this with the knife. We will throw that away. Let me take out the good parts, the leaves. This gives a good taste to the sofrito. Esto le da un buen sabor al sofrito, el cilantro y el recado. And I like to put a lot in my sofrito. Me gusta utilizarlo mucho en mi sofrito. Oh, I still see some, wait, some roots in it. Let me take it out. Tengo todavía raíces. Okay, ahora sí. Now, and over here, I see a little bit more. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And over here, I see another one. Okay. Let's throw this away. Let's take another batch of cilantro. This one, I'm not going to use it all, just half. The rest, I'm going to put it in my refrigerator, then I could use it later with some of the foods. Let's cut all these stems. Okay. I'm just going to use half of it, half of it, okay, and this one will reserve, we'll wash it and dry it, and I'll show you how I do it. La lavo y le enseña como yo la guardo en la nevera. We're going to wash our sofrito, all the ingredients have to be washed very well. Plenty of water. Vamos a lavar bien nuestro ingrediente para el sofrito.
gonna rinse it, throw this water away. And we're gonna wash again. Wash this good. Lavamos bien. Y sacamos todas las impurezas que pueda tener. Y aquí hay una pajita, ¿lo ves? Después de la raíz, que no lo piqué. Ok. Ok. Now let's rinse this again. This is heavy. Esto está pesado. Ok. Now this. Oops, I'm gonna wash that back again. I forgot to wash the garlic. I'm gonna do la vale lajo.
Okay, I just finished right now. Let me put this here. This is delicious, I'm telling you. Esto es delicioso. Look at this, all this. If it's a lot and you're not gonna use it all, this will last in the refrigerator for one month. But if it's too much to save it in the refrigerator for one month, you could put it in a, in a plastic bowl and put it in your freezer and it will last up to three months. And you take it out and, and you use it. Lo puede guardar en la nevera por un mes. Pero si es mucho para guardar en un mes en la nevera, puede congelar parte de él, como lo voy a hacer yo, en el congelador. Y dura hasta tres meses en un pote de plástico, no de vidrio, porque se puede romper. Don't use um, glass to save this, because it could break in the freezer. Okay, we'll put, ooh, come out, come out. Do you want to come out? Okay. We'll put two of these, like I told you, sazón, ajo, that's our garlic, um, cebolla means um, onion, and achote is to give color. See, okay, two, two envelopes. And I'm gonna put this one is sazon but with color. Este es sazon con color. Let me use two. Okay. And now we're gonna stir, mix everything together until it blends. Okay. Look at that beautiful color. Green. It's beautiful. And it tastes wonderful. I'm gonna taste it, you know. If you want this to be more um, chopped, you could do it, but I like this way. Si quieres esto más mejor, ¿verdad? Que esté más molido, mejor dicho, puede hacerlo. Pero a mí me gusta así, en pedacitos más grandecitos. Okay, this is ready oh my god my plastic bag fell down i got scared i'm jumpy today i don't know what's wrong with me estoy que me asusto de nada no sé qué me pasa hoy tengo los nervios alterados hoy okay i'm gonna taste this just a little bit right there mm, tastes good wonderful okay here I have a, a uh a, Oh my God, I can't even talk today. A jar, and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. Not in the, not in the freezer, refrigerator. This is glass, a glass jar. Voy a guardar esto en la nevera, en un pote de cristal, no en el congelador, porque tiene que ser plástico si es para el congelador. Oh, this is good. This is all good. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. My sofrito, Puerto Rican sofrito. Delicious. It's amazing. Even my phone fell off. Something incredible. What's wrong with me today? Hasta el teléfono se me cayó. Esto es increíble. But this is a real kitchen. Anything could happen. Esta es una cocina de verdad. Cualquier cosa puede suceder. Bueno. ¿Qué voy a hacer, verdad? ¿Qué se va a hacer? Ok. ¿Cómo también va a hacer? Ok. I'm going to save this one for my daughter. Some sofrito for my daughter when she comes tomorrow. I'm gonna to put it in a plastic. 
container. And this is for her. Okay, esto es para mi hija cuando venga mañana. De verdad que hoy estoy vida. Mi gente, perdónenme, pero mire, hasta el teléfono se cayó ahí del stand. Sorry, my friends, anything could happen today. Even my phone fell off the stand. But this is a real kitchen. Uh, it's not practice, it's for real, real life. Esta es una cocina de verdad, de la vida real. Anything could happen. So, my friends, I hope you, you like well, once you saw my face, I haven't even combed my hair correctly, but it's okay. Okay. I hope you can see me there. Wait, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, this is me, real kitchen, real person. What can I do? Esta soy yo, en una cocina de verdad. ¿Qué puedo hacer? Well, I hope you like this recipe from my sofrito from Puerto Rican sofrito. I hope you do it in your house. And let me t and let me tell you, this is so good. It's not the same as you as the one you buy in the supermarket from other brands. No, this is real sofrito. Espero que les guste esta receta de este sofrito. Este es sofrito de que se compra en el supermercado de otras marcas. Este es verdaderamente sofrito de verdad puertorriqueño que se prepara aquí en la casa. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, de todo un poco con mi Italia, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up today, please. Don't do it like this. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and I love you guys. See you next time. Mi gente, si no se ha suscrito de todo un poco con mi Italia, suscríbase en este día de hoy. Regáleme un dedito para arriba. No me lo regale para abajo. Regálamelo para arriba, por favor. Y hasta la próxima. Dios me los bendiga. Los quiero mucho. Bye, bye. Okay, I promise you, ouch, I hit myself, oh my, what's wrong with me, my God? I woke up in this wrong side of the bed. I hit myself with the cabinet. Okay, I promised you that I was gonna show you how I preserve my cilantro in the refrigerator and it will last a long time. Okay, we're gonna search, there's no um, brown leaves or black leaves and I can, over here, I can see something, just cut it off and i don't think i see something else okay nothing that rotten because it's not it's going to mess up our cilantro in the refrigerator because i noticed that sometimes you buy it and you put it in the refrigerator and it doesn't last not even a week but this doing this this way it will okay les prometí que les iba a enseñar como yo preservo mi cilantro en la nevera y verdura fresquecito, velar que no tengamos hojas dañadas, velar negras ni brown, se las sacamos porque si no, eso es lo que va a hacer que nuestro cilantro se dañe, porque contamina, ¿verdad? Ok, no veo que haya más nada, ya lo chequeé, no tiene raíces, ahora vamos a lavarlo y lo secamos bien, bien, bien. Ok, I washed it, now let's put it here, let's spread it. And when it, we're going to dry this, we're going to pat it with some paper towel. And once you pat it and you take all the excess water, una vez que lo seca con la toalla, papel toalla, y le saca el agua que tiene en exceso, lo vamos a dejar secándose afuera hasta que esté completamente sequecito para luego poderlo guardar. So, once it's padded dry, we're going to leave it there for for a few, like half an hour, because the weather here is hot, until it's dry, completely dry. Okay, we're going to put it in another paper towel. Vamos a ponerlo en otro papel toalla para que termine de secarse completamente. Okay, déjame 
de buscar otro papel. Ok. Some more paper towel. Ok. Let's put this here and let's let it dry. And we'll be right back in half an hour. Regresaremos en media hora. Okay, the cilantro is dry completely. As you can see, el cilantro está seco por completo. Now, in, a, in this jar, we're going to take a napkin, we're going to fold it, a dry napkin, and we're going to put it in the bottom. Okay? And now we're going to chop the cilantro. Okay? Vamos a cortar el cilantro ahora. Puse una servilleta seca aquí abajo para que absorba la, la humedad. This napkin is for to absorb the moisture. The, okay? Okay, we're going to shop the cilantro. Cortamos el cilantro. I'm not going to cut it too small. I think like that is already it's okay okay that's enough and we're gonna put this cilantro in this jar okay see you see what I mean people you see what I mean lo ponemos aquí mi gente lo veo que ya les digo and it's gonna be longer time it's gonna it's gonna live a little bit longer Va a vivir un poco más de duración este cilantro de esta forma. We're going to put the lid and we put it in the refrigerator. Ok, mi Galia. So it's not your day. Ok, ya lo cerré. Ya está listo. It's ready. 